Is it government policy, still government policy, not to be in the customs union or a customs union? Yes. Do you have the votes in the Commons to sustain that policy? We believe we do. I mean, for me as leader of the Commons, my core job is getting the legislation through. And what I can say to you is, for example, with the EU withdrawal bill, that bill has taken into account so many different views and options. It's now significantly changed from how it started. And what we're doing is listening to all views other than those that simply Because you haven't yet got any, other it. than the Article 50 legislation, you haven't got any legislation through well, yet. Well, legislation is going through. But you haven't had completed we haven't, any of we haven't it completed any of it yet so, but again it th there are many moving parts you've got the negotiation on the one side and the legislation on the other side and quite often you do actually need to make progress if, with the negotiation if you were to, to lose a vote on the customs union in the commons as you have in the lords mm. what would happen so, I mean, we regret that the Lords have seen fit to pass an amendment that calls on the government to set out our plans with regards to a customs union. Right. But what that amendment doesn't do is to require us to stay in the no. customs union. But if the Commons so, votes to require you to stay in the customs union, what will the government do? Is that a, a matter of confidence? For the government? Uh, no, the, the government's position is clear. We will not remain in the customs union. But even the if the Commons votes for it? Well, the amendment in the Lords is not no. to do that. The Commons has no. already, don't forget, the Commons has already had its it, um, third reading and the bill. I know, but went it could come Lords. up again. Well, if the Commons says we should stay in the customs union, what would the government's position be? What the government's position, as it has been all the way through, is to work very closely with those of all arguments in the House of Commons and in the House right. of Lords to come up with a negotiated arrangement that works okay. for most people so that we don't but, lose votes on such critical issues. David Davis told the Select Committee this morning that this meaningful vote on the deal at the end of the process would be amendable. Is that government policy? Well, most motions are amendable. I think, as David Davis also said, if somebody knows how to make something unamendable, I'll be happy to take a tutorial. I mean, most government legislation is amendable, so of course it will be. All right.